Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint a dragonfly. I'm going to be painting on an 11 by 14 double primed and stretched canvas. I'll be using black and white to start. I might add a little bit of color to make the wings look iridescent at the end of the video. And I'm going to be using a number 50 filbert brush. All I want to do right now is just paint the background different tones of gray. So I'll just take a little bit of white, a little bit of black, and just start covering the background it really really helps if you have a little bit of water on your brush so I'll start just by quickly adding black and white and then I'll be using one of my dry mop brushes to smooth out and give it an airbrush look for the background so it looks really blurry and then our dragonfly really stand out against that background So it's up to you where you want your lightest and darkest shades of gray to be. I think it would be better to have a little bit of light around the out outer edges and then have it darker in the center. That way our wings will show up much better too. So while the paint is still wet, you want to make sure you have a nice soft um, mop brush and that's dry. Okay, it has to be dry and you're just going to very very lightly don't push too hard you're going to barely touch that paint because if you push too hard you're going to be left with more streaks we're trying to get rid of those so a little light circle here and there if you happen to pick up too much paint on your brush and you're finding it's just not working very well then you might need to just switch over to a fresh dry mop brush okay so the first thing I'm going to do is paint um, a flower in the background almost kind of blurry like I don't want to have too too many details on it I'm going to be using a filbert brush. This is a number four. I'm going to take some black to start. And I'm just going to paint, paint in a roundish shape here. And then just paint it in black. Or dark gray as long as it's darker than the background okay I'm gonna raise my brush up And I'm going to take some white and I'll just start adding some petals.
create different shades just by picking up the color of the paint underneath that's still wet. And then going in. With more white to build up some more layers and highlights. And we'll start making some of the petals a little pointy. That'll make them look more like hydrangeas. Then you can just start overlapping. This is going to give you a dense layered look. We just need something to have our dragonfly landing on, right? And then the dragonfly is going to be on here somewhere, so we're just going to make this a little fuzzy, kind of messy looking. Maybe just have a stem here. leaves. So a little bit of white come out. A little wiggle. And again, just add a little bit of white and black for your highlights and shadows. So pick up a little bit more white here.
Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of black first. And I'm going to start the little eyes here. So we've got one and then one larger one because it's on an angle, so we're not going to see it equally the same size. Add some little legs in here. And this is just placement. We'll come back after and add a little bit more. And then we'll add an oval here. And then we're going to add the rest of the body and tail. Little scoops. They get smaller and smaller. And then I'll take some more black. I'm going to come in, make these kind of rounded little blocks or types of scoops. And then, of course, smaller and smaller. And I'm going to use one of my small. Uh, liner brushes and I'm going to take some white and I'm just going to add a little bit of a highlight here make it look kind of shiny it'll dry a little bit darker than this so I'll come back and add even a little bit more white And I'll add a little bit of white to the legs. And then I'll add a little pattern here on the head, or the, the body part, I mean. And then a little bit on this side. We'll come in with black. I'm going to come in and add these little, little scoopy lines. Gonna shade a little bit.
I'm going to come in and add more shading under these legs. I'm going to switch over to a brush that's a little bit thicker, another um, round brush. Well, the other one was a little liner brush, but any small brush that you feel comfortable with, I want to recommend that you guys use for the details. And I'm just going to take some white, and I'm going to come in around the other side now. Scoop, scoop. Remember they're gonna start to go in now and get smaller. Smaller, 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 until it just disappears. And then we can add a little something over here and I think I am going to be adding some color to this doing a little glazing after um, just to make this dragonfly look iridescent and I think it'll be a lot of fun you guys will learn a lot um, watching Just going back in with a little bit of black here. A little bit of white. I'm going to bring this up a little bit higher. Gonna really softly loosen up some of this white and start shading. I've got a little bit of black in there so that it will make a light gray. So I only want to do this to the left side. I want this underneath part to be in shadow. So the top wings are going to come from here. Let's just add a little line to go by. And then the other ones right across, but on the outside. So let's start with the top. And we'll just lightly it goes up slightly and then we're going to want an angle like this and then back in I'm going to rinse my brush out And we can start to wiggle around the white paint and make designs with it. Now it's really hard to follow intricate patterns, so I recommend you guys just 
kind of do your own thing if you have a hard time following this, but I'm just going around with that thin white paint. And then I'm going to add a little scoop in here. Add a little bit more white. Make sure I take out the excess. A few more scoops. Once you start to get the flow of the pattern you want and you're a little bit more confident, you can come in and brighten some of the lines, but I wouldn't do all of them just because that takes away from the delicateness. Okay, so just pick a few areas that are going to be a little bit thicker and brighter than the others. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and start working on the other one, which is right here. And we're going to come just under. Because of the angle it's on, it's going to look slightly different, right, than this one. we can start coming in with a little bit of shading. I'm going to shade this one a little bit, so I'll add a little bit of um, thinned out gray. Make sure you don't have too, too much paint in your brush. We'll shade this one slightly, and then we'll come in with our next wing, next set of wings, a little bit extra white on this one here. Okay, so it's going to come right from very close. And then round it down. Now 
we can come in and start making up our design. Okay, let's start coming in with this one now. We'll come right below. Round out those edges and corners. I'm going to take a little bit more water on my brush now to thin that paint out so it's a little bit more transparent. As long as you just do a lot of these little loops and, and lines, it'll look like wings. What I'm going to do now is go back over to my little round brush, take some, take a little bit more white, and I'll add a little bit more to my flower petals. And then I'll add a little bit of black to the center of them, little dots and dabs, just a little hint of the center of some of the flowers, we don't have to do all of them. I'm going to go back for some more white, and what I want to do is add a few little sparkles for the white here to the wings. So I'll just follow the pattern and add a few little dabs. We'll then come over once they're all dry with um, a filter or a glaze. Some people call it a filter. It's the same end result. So these are where the wings are really going to look magical and sparkly and like they have little, little beads on them. So of course you don't want them to all be the same size, right? And it's not about creating so much of a pattern. It's just here and there.
I'll just come in and add a little bit more of my thinned out white. And then create a very thin, transparent layer on some of the parts of the wings so they look iridescent when I go and add some color. A little bit right there, a little bit in here, See how we can still see the flower through? I'm just making this wing stand out and that'll add a little bit more shadow to this one below. I do want to make the top of this wing stand out a little bit. And then add a little bit more black down in here. Okay, I'm going to add a few more petals with my filbert brush and white. And then a little bit more white to this leaf here. Okay, the colors I've chosen are neon lemon yellow, neon pink, phthalo blue, and phthalo green. You can use any colors that you want for this. Okay, so you want to make sure that it's completely dry before you add um, the paint over top. And I'm going to use just my small round brush here. And what I want to do is add a little bit of yellow to the top. So I'll take just a little bit of this lime and yellow here. And I'm going to add little hints of it. And 
it'll appear the brightest, of course, where that white is. But I'm going to add a few dabs of it over part of the white little dabs. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my phthalo green. And I'm going to bring it down here through the center of the body. I'm also going to use a little bit of this over part of the wings for a little shiver of color. It's a pretty dry brush. That's going to keep it very delicate and um, soft looking. I'm going to add a little bit of my yellow and phthalo green here to this leaf. Remember, if you only if you really need it, add a little bit of um, water. that to the stem as well and what I want to do is add a little bit of an earthy more of an olive green to this leaf so I'll take a bit of black and a little bit of the cool yellow and the phthalo green I'll add that in a little bit of water. I'm going to add it to the stem as well. And then I'll just add a little bit more white. I'll take a bit of that light yellow. And there's a little bit of a leaf showing here, so we'll just add a little bit of that too. Okay, now let's come in with some blue. 
I'm going to just take a little bit of white with my blue because I think the blue is a really, really strong color. So you don't want to have too much on your brush. See, I'm just dabbing it off there. And I'm going to bring it partially over some of that phthalo green. We'll add a little bit around the eyes as well. And then some other things, of course. This is so much fun. I hope you guys are enjoying watching this one. I'm going to take a little bit of um, phthalo green, a little bit of white. I'll just go around those eyes a little bit. Dab, dab, dab. So we're just making a turquoise shade here. Okay, so the next color I'm going to start adding is some pink. I'm going to take a little bit of white with it. And start adding it in here. I'm going to add it over part of the yellow too. Really, just add it wherever you want. Now I'm going to go back with the tip of my brush, a little bit more white and yellow. And just make some pastel shades. Add a little bit extra. Add a little bit in here on the body. A little bit on the eyes.
Okay, now the next color I want to add is pink and blue. And I'm going to add a little dab here, here, and here. So a little bit of white in there. A little bit more white, like a really soft light blue violet shade. Okay, now we can start coming in with this bluey purple color. I'm going to use a larger brush. Use a flat brush. Just go over almost the whole thing like that. And then with a larger brush, soften. You can take some off anywhere you want to have a little bit more of a highlight. Now you can just sort of play around with the lighting by removing some of the color. Or by adding a little bit more. So I'm going to go back over to my filbert brush, add a little bit of pink, white, and maybe just a little bit of blue in there. Maybe even just a little bit of phthalo green. Ok, 
Okay, then I'm going to take that yellow, add some here over the leaf. A little bit of black and with the yellow. And just add some lines. With a very small liner brush, I'm going to add the last little bits of color to the wings and sparkles. a little bit of blue in there. Back over to my filbert brush, take just a little bit more yellow, white, and I'm just gonna pull in from the edges here. Okay, this painting is all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and you want to paint along. I'll see you guys all soon in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!